Building Ideas is proudly brought to you by the Master Builders Association. We got ideas. Building ideas. A whole new direction. Building ideas. It's time for change. Building ideas. Dreaming is over. Building ideas. Building ideas. Gonna build it from the heart. Gonna show you how to make a start. We got ideas. Building ideas. ideas. You want some building, building ideas. ideas? We got some building, building ideas. ideas. G'day and welcome to today's show. Thank you once again for joining us. What, in the name of Good Building Ideas, am I doing standing at the front of the Capri Cinema here in Goodwood? Well, this is where we are hosting today's show from. And I'm a little bit excited because we're going to do things a bit differently today. You may well also ask, what does the Capri Cinema have to do with building ideas? Quite a lot. You see, this is one of the oldest heritage listed cinemas in the state and it is being tastefully restored and renovated as you can see by the hive of activity and one of the people helping to be part of that renovation are our friends at Adelaide Press Metal. The Capri Cinema was opened in 1941 so it was built in an art deco style reminiscent of that era. It has loads of decorative features that are so traditionally associated with that era, including a press metal veranda ceiling. Press metal has been around since the 1800s and was used right up until the early 1940s, so there are many different designs available, including many Art Deco designs. Adelaide Press Metal are the experts when it comes to this product and they have literally hundreds of designs available. I am a big fan of this product because it is so versatile and as well as being used in a commercial application here, you can use it pretty well on any building or renovation project, be it in the form of a feature wall, splashback, ceiling or simply as a decorative panel. And Adelaide Press Metal's team will be more than happy to help you choose a design to suit your requirements and get the look you're after. And they have a professional team of tradesmen that can install your press metal for you. My movie's not on yet. Well, throughout today's show, we're going to be showcasing all the different looks and styles you can achieve by using Adelaide Press Metal. But before we get too carried away, let's take a look at what else is on today's show. Benno, let me give you a hand. Now, what do I do? Is it Beast. No. Nicole catches up with experts from SafeWork SA to chat about dialing before you dig. In other words, she'll get the lowdown about what you should consider and what you need to know before you start any excavation works at your place. We'll visit our good friends at Corns Toyota and check out their service department. They certainly go over and above to keep you and your vehicle on the road. We check out more of the projects and products available at Creative Home Renovations and I'm going to find out about a great new initiative from the Master Builders Association that aims to promote and connect individuals working in the building and construction industry. Well, what a lineup we have for today's show. It's almost as impressive as that wrap around veranda. Anyway, more from the team at Adelaide Press Metal a little bit later. There is a lot to get through. So the best thing that we need to do is hand it over to Nicole. Press Metal is such a versatile product and you can create so many different looks. And with the extensive range of profiles available, you're going to be able to achieve something very special much like today's display home, which has been built by APS Homes. You might remember a few weeks ago, Terry showcased a beautiful beachside mansion built by APS Homes. And today, I thought I'd walk you through this display home, which is open to the public on display at St. Clair. You're going to love it. APS Homes specialise in designing and building one-off individual homes and the Black Stallion, as this home is referred to, is a terrific example of what they're able to achieve. It's been designed with luxury family living in mind. Its commanding street presence takes great advantage of the corner allotment it's built on and the home has been designed with two living zones, one on each level. 
So there's a lounge area upstairs as well as one down here, which means the entire family has a great spot of their own to rest and relax. The three secondary bedrooms are also located on the first level. And downstairs you have the master suite, which as you can imagine, it is very luxurious. It has a massive walk-in robe and a very lovely ensuite with groovy three-dimensional wall tiling. One of the highlights of this home for me is the open plan kitchen, living and meals area. The designer kitchen, which includes a butler's pantry hidden behind joinery doors, overlooks the expansive family and dining area, which leads to the outdoor all weather entertaining area. Don't you just love the indoor outdoor fireplace with the internal tile feature wall and glazing too? It really creates a lovely open contemporary feel, very stylish. Attention to detail is evident right throughout this home and that's something APS is renowned for. There's extensive storage and lots of functional features too. This really is a very cleverly designed home, which is something else the team at APS Homes is known for, their design and subsequent building execution. If I had to sum up this home, the Black Stallion, in a nutshell, I would have to say that it's the perfect family home for a large family because it's got everything you'd need or you'd want. The finishes that APS have done here are second to none. Now, if you'd like to look up their homes for yourself, then you can look up the apsgroup.com.au. Building ideas, we got some building ideas. You want some building ideas, we got some building ideas. My husband and I have done some pretty major renovations over the last couple of years and that included landscaping. You might be thinking of doing some too, but before you do any earthworks, you might want to have a stop and think. If you're digging a pool, if you're digging a hole for a tree, you might even want to drive a stake into the ground. Well, find out where utility services are first because they run all underground just where you can't see them. Water, gas and sewerage services, as well as newer electrical and communication services, are all buried underground. And whilst it's safe to say you can sometimes see them, more often than not you won't see them until you've hit them, and that could be disastrous. Well, there's a pretty easy solution. All you have to do is contact Dull before you dig. And what that does, that puts your excavator in direct contact with utility services like Telstra, SA Water, SA Power Networks. It's that easy. Certainly for any significant digging project around your home, like excavating a site or digging foundations, building a deck or trenching, it's a good idea to check out Dull before you dig at 1100.com.au. There's a hundred different asset owners registered with Infrastructure Underground. I'm with Brett Pfeffer from SafeWork SA. And Brett, what happens if somebody does hit a pipe or a cable? Damaging underground pipes and cables can lead to service interruptions to your home or entire street. In addition to expensive repair bills, injuries or even death can occur in some cases. What should people do if they do hit a pipe or a cable? By their nature, home renovators are handy, but in the event of striking an underground service, they may be inclined to step in and fix it themselves. Don't. If you hit an underground asset, contact the asset owner. How can I tell what's underground around my home before I dig? An important part of avoiding utility services is to walk around the home and look for visual clues. Looking for signs of services and utilities above ground indicate things that lay below the ground. Locate your metre box. If you have a powered shed, find the fuse box and chase the cables. Also look for pit lids in the street or cables coming down the power poles. Locate your gas and water meters and look where pipe entry points are. And use insulated hand tools to help protect you in case you do hit something. So remember, dial before you dig and don't assume that all your services run in a straight line because they often don't or that they're at a certain depth. You can contact SafeWork SA for any more information or look up their website, safework.sa.gov.au or dial before you dig. Easy to remember, 1100. Hello? Yeah, I do still need some help, thanks. Well, that is some great, simple and straightforward advice from the team at SafeWork SA. What I like the best, all we have to do is remember to dial before we dig. 
It could save you a lot of heartache in the long run, plus it's a terrific initiative, which is something we're very passionate about on Building Ideas, terrific initiatives, that is, and this next one is an absolute beauty. It's called High Viz, and it's designed to support and empower those working and dealing with the building and construction industry. Plus, it's proudly supported by the team at Hanson Youngkin. You'd be hard pressed to argue that traditionally the building and construction industry has been a male dominated industry. Times and things are changing though. Earlier this year, the Master Builders Association recognised the importance of women in the building and construction industry and all that they stand for with the first ever Master Builders Women in Construction Lunch. It was a sellout. So thanks to the Master Builders Association, High Viz Women Building SA was officially established. Now, it's a specially developed initiative designed to support and empower those involved in the construction industry. It aims to create a collaborative approach to business, to deliver great leadership and unique events to all people involved in both the industry and the community. High Viz was initially established to recognise and support people working in the building and construction industry. There is a great desire to empower the women and it will also have a positive impact on men working in the industry and bring everyone closer together. Can I fill up the glue rollers? As soon as they start talking to you though, the boys, they tell you like it's really good to see another girl being on site and you get a lot of positive comments and feedback from a lot of the blokes, so it's really good. It will encourage mutual respect and establish a culture of togetherness. It will promote everyone's talents, which can only be a positive for the end consumer. Going to site and seeing how the other trades work and everything like that, you do pick up on a lot of just other general knowledge with things. High Viz will look to provide a platform of support to people working in building and construction to come together on a regular basis to network, swap notes, ideas and knowledge in order to continue to come up with new ideas and solve long-term issues that impact the industry and how it operates. By doing so, positive results and outcomes will be achieved that will streamline the industry and bring about greater benefits for anyone who is building or renovating. It's certainly a very exciting time in the building and construction industry and improving the working conditions of those who work in the industry will only improve the outcomes they achieve. It'll improve our buildings and it'll make the notion of building and renovating exciting for everyone in the community. Now, if you want to know more, which I know you do, jump on the website, visit mbasa.com.au. We've got some building ideas. You want some building ideas, we got some building ideas. Over the past few weeks, Terry and I have had a lot of fun test driving a lot of the vehicles at Corns Toyota. And I think a new car would go very nicely with a new house or a new renovation. But like with all things, sometimes we need a little bit of maintenance. And Corns Toyota is definitely the place to take your vehicle. Don't you think? Absolutely. You get back to work. <laughs> Corns Toyota has a team of fully qualified technicians and whilst they're trained to specialise in Toyota products, they're able to work on all other makes and models too. They have an uncompromising commitment to excellence and are able to handle all specific Toyota service requirements. I have to say their service facilities are first class and the entire team at Corns is dedicated to making your vehicle service as easy and convenient as possible. In the past, having your car service was sometimes a little bit inconvenient, but not anymore. You can pop down to Corns Toyota and make yourself a lovely complimentary cup of coffee. You can have a shuttle into the city, they've got an express service, and they're even open on Saturdays from 8 till 12. Their after hours service is a great option for tradies who rely and need their vehicles all of the time. It means they can work during the day and have their car service overnight in readiness for the next day on the tools. Perfect. The express service is a great option too. It basically means there'll be a number of specialised technicians who will work together as a team to quickly complete your logbook service within one hour. 
Corns Toyota is a one-stop shop. You can get your car serviced here, you can buy all the parts you need, and they've even got a new tyre operations, which means that you can get a new set of wheels that have been fitted, balanced, and even aligned on site. How easy is that? Now, you can log in on cornstoyota.com.au, or you can pop in and see them. Bit of a noisy bunch, but they are busy here. I think I'll book the crew car in. Do you think they'd wash it for me? I'll try. What you could also do is come down to the Capri Cinema and catch a movie while the team at Corns Toyota service your car. Even if you don't see a movie, you should come and check out the renovation and the restoration that is tastefully taking place, with a fair bit of the work being done by the team at Adelaide Press Metal. Adelaide Press Metal work closely with the Capri Cinema and the Theatre Organ Society of Australia SA division to restore the press metal lining on the front veranda to its original condition. So, the original heritage of the building has been beautifully restored. All of this certainly wasn't achieved without challenges. In fact, creative solutions were used as the design isn't currently available and the budget didn't cover the cost of creating a new die. I've said it before and you know it, press metal can be used in any room of your home and it's an ideal product for any restoration or renovation. This elegant villa was in need of restoration to bring it into the 21st century. The original lathe and plaster ceilings were in disrepair and the decision was made to add a wow factor as well as enhance the architectural elegance of the home. So press metal ceilings were installed. The newly released York Street panel, which was reproduced for heritage listed Carlton House in Sydney, was used to create an immediate impact in the formal front entry and has been highlighted with a high dado in Renaissance design. Traditionally, multiple designs were used in larger homes with the larger two-foot designs used in the larger entertaining spaces and the smaller designs, the one-foot, the six-inch ones, used in smaller, less significant rooms. Myself, personally, I really love that Piermont cross design used in the hallway ceiling. Very stylish. Now, if you're enjoying today's show and you're looking for more inspiration, stick around because there's more from Adelaide Press Metal after the break. Plus, Nicole goes to visit, oh, thank you, the creative home renovation suite. So, stay tuned. We got some building ideas. Building ideas. You want some building ideas. We got some building ideas. A few weeks ago, Terry hosted the program from the brand new creative home renovation showroom. And seriously, he raved about it so much that I thought to myself, I've got to get down there and have a look. And I've got to tell you what, he wasn't over-exaggerating. This place is absolutely amazing. When you look around, it's stylish, it's sophisticated, it's contemporary. Everything that you would possibly dream of for your renovation or building project. And I tell you what, if you're not building or renovating, once you've been here, you're going to want to. Whilst the team behind Creative Home Renovations has been around for over 30 years, their new display centre brings everything together. It's the creme de la creme of all their building projects and not only showcases what their professional team is capable of, but also highlights some of the sensational products that they have access to. This is Adelaide's largest home renovation showroom and the professional team here specialises in all aspects associated with your renovation project. They'll literally take care of everything from initial design concepts through to selections and construction. You might be thinking of doing up one room or you might want to embark on an entire new build. The team at Creative Home Renovations can certainly help you. They are experts in extensions and renovations. You might do a new bathroom or possibly a new kitchen, even an outdoor kitchen, dig a pool. It's all here. Do yourself a favour, you are going to be very surprised. This showroom covers a whopping 700 square metres. Just stop and think about that for a moment. You could pretty well build two homes on this block. It's no surprise then that all the big brands are on display here and their friendly staff, who are all professional, experienced interior designers, will be only too happy to help you achieve your renovation dreams. Creative Home Renovations have a strong relationship with all of their suppliers, so you'll be guaranteed that they'll have all the latest brands and the widest product range possibly available. 
They also pride themselves on offering exceptional value for money and their service is second to none. You're going to walk out of here brimming with ideas, but the best part is the team at Creative Home Renovations, they're going to turn those dreams into reality. So pop down and say hi, they are so friendly and nice. And if you can't do that, we'll at least look them up, creativehomerenovations.com.au or check out their Facebook page. Creative Home Renovations is definitely where it's all at. But the Capri Cinemas right here in Goodwood is pretty impressive as well, starting with that majestic return veranda, which was done by who? The team at Adelaide Press Metal. Now, they also oversaw the other trades to make sure that they preserved the art of working with pressed metal products. Now, for my seat. Ah, someone's being funny. I'll tell you what, though. I never tire of the looks, finishes and styles you can achieve by using pressed metal products, as we saw earlier in that magnificent, majestic villa. The formal lounge of the home is a definite highlight and incorporates what's called the jasmine design and the painted finish really adds a touch of elegance. If you're considering installing pressed metal, keep in mind a high gloss finish will enhance the design features while a flat or satin paint finish creates a more subtle look and feel. Whilst pressed metal was traditionally used for ceilings and hallways, nowadays you can use it to create fantastic feature walls, splashbacks and even cover entire rooms with it. It can be used indoors or outside and aluminium panels are long lasting so all you have to do to maintain the lustre is grab the Mr Sheen and give it a quick once over. Having said that, if you do opt to paint the panels, you don't even have to do that. It's great. All panels are supplied unpainted, but are easy to paint with a brush, roller or spray gun using a primer and water-based paint with an enamel finish for splashbacks. If you like pressed metal as much as I do, another great thing about it is that it's so easy to install. In fact, I'm going to get some done at my house. We'll check that out another time. If you like pressed metal, if you want to know more, jump on the website, adelaidepressmetal.com.au. But don't do it just yet, because we're about to find out what's on next week's show. Nicole will be hosting the program from another fantastic home built by award-winning master builders, Finesse Build. We'll have some energy safety tips in relation to barbecues. We check out another terrific product in the CSR building products range. And I'm going to get some great interior styling advice thanks to One Rundle. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get told off for calling them knickknacks and trinkets again. Regardless, it looks like another great show. Look forward to seeing you again then. Now, for me and the movie, Driving Miss Daisy. Oh, is that the lights? They're dimming. Ice cream. Oh, mmm. This is good. Bye bye now. Building Ideas is proudly brought to you by the Master Builders Association.